Hello everybody, it's been a while since I made a video on my beard channel here and I wanted to make one and as you can see, I'm missing something, my beard. And uh, a lot of people are wondering that have seen me, is why did you cut your beard? And what are you going to do? Are you going to grow it back or leave it short? And so it's been a while since I did trim it and I want to talk a little about why I did it and, and yes, I do plan on coming back and basically, you know, I could, I, I try to reason in my mind how I'm going to explain to people without them getting discouraged because I gotten so many emails from people over the years saying how encouraged they were by my long beard and it helped them to decide to let their beard grow and them to stop destroying their beard. And uh, you know, so I wanted to think about how I'm gonna pronounce this and, and let people know about this without thinking that uh, it's a bad thing or a negative thing or I changed my mind about the beard. I didn't change my mind and my opinion about anything I had said in the past, but I did learn a couple of lessons. Uh, and so, so let me just give you my personal little story here of why I decided to trim it. And I really decided because after a while I decided I wasn't doing justice to the beard. And I would start making a lot of videos saying, oh, people say it doesn't look as good as, as, as when I'm clean shaven. And people started saying, oh, it doesn't look clean and it doesn't look good. And I would make a whole bunch of videos saying, look, you, you know, you have a pre-justice against homeless people and, and, and pe men with beards and this world looks at men with beards different and, and, and you know to a degree that's still there but I, I, I was wrong in an area is uh, I had a responsibility to keep myself clean and, and presentable and when I decided to let myself go my hair growing long and my beard growing out uh, I wasn't thinking of uh, the responsibility or the, the appearance I was just letting myself go, literally. And what happened was, when I made my videos, I would do my best to uh, to make my beard as neat as possible. Sometimes it wasn't uh, neat, but I, I would still make it much neater than it is when I'm not making a video, when I'm just out and about. And, uh, you know, and you know, a lot of the comments I got was when I was just out and about. So I, I didn't think much about it, but what happened was is, uh, I started taking a karate class. And when I would look at myself on videos and, 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 and see pictures of myself, I, the beard looked great. I thought it looked very kept, very trimmed, and I thought it looked wonderful. But then when I was in karate class, there was a full a mirror from the floor to the ceiling. And I really don't care what other people think about how I look. Uh, and maybe I have some vanity, but I, I care to a degree uh, how I look to a degree. I want to get my message out there and, and I want I want to inspire people to grow a beard and not make it uh, a negative thing. I want it all to be positive. Well, I was in a karate class and there was a, a mirrors there from the from the floor to the ceiling. So every time I would look at myself in the mirror, I don't know if it was just this mirror or what, but I looked, it, it, the beard, the hair, everything looked, it just looked unkept. It didn't look, it didn't look I don't want to say professional because that's not the goal I'm, try I'm trying to and ever was trying to come across. But I, I want somebody to say, you know, there's a man with a beard and it looks good. Or think that a beard isn't just about a, a sloppy homeless person or, or somebody, you know, or just Duck Dynasty. No, that you can have a beard and be presentable and, and you could fit into society. And it's, is the issue really the beard or, or, or what we do with the beard? You know, and here I was combing my hair every day. And before I made a video, I would make sure my beard was kind of uh, even. But in everyday life, I wasn't. I was just letting my beard grow and being proud because it was growing longer and longer. And so I made a video uh, that I decided to trim my beard just about a half an inch previously and, and just to surprise my wife. And she noticed right away and she, she noticed it looked, uh, it looked more trim and looked a little better. I even got some mustache wax, uh, mustache wax because I, my, my mustache, I was letting it grow as well. And I decided to get some mustache wax. And when I, I put that in and I made a video, I surprised my wife and you can see my teeth for the first time in a long time. And, you know, she says it, it, it looks well maintained. And, you know, at least when I surprised it that day in that video. And I, I don't know, people ask me, well, well why did you, you, you trim your beard? And really, my real answer is, I really don't know. It's just something I did. And I had a friend, you know, that had a beard really, really long down to his, maybe his, his waist. And he decided to trim his and he had his reason. He, he's, uh, well, he has his reasons. He trimmed his 
And, and I, 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 I didn't even really have a reason. I'm just trying to reason now to think about uh, reflecting back of why I did it. And so one day, it was a morning, it was a Friday morning, and I just uh, went out and about, and uh, I just got some scissors, and I just decided I was going to trim it a little, and I couldn't stop, and I kept trimming it and trimming it and trimming it, and then it looked really bad, because now you had a much shorter beard, and, and I wasn't doing a good job trimming it, because I never had any practice trimming it, because I never really trimmed it. So I went into a, to a hair cutting place and first I told him to make the beard even because I had holes everywhere. And then uh, I said, well, you're at it. You know, then she said, well, should we cut your hair? And my hair was long and out. And I said, yeah, okay, cut the hair as well. So uh, here you have me. And it's grown in a little bit more. And I, so I decided I, I have a responsibility uh, to and you might say, well, that that's you don't have any responsibility to anyone. But no, I wanna. I have a responsibility to to the beard to to make it look neat and keep it clean. You know, so uh, I, I I was hesitant to make this video because I just didn't know how to present it. But I just saw tonight another fellow who I had on my beard channel who I interviewed. His name is uh, Michael Owens, and he has a wonderful channel and, and and videos about his beard. And I just saw less than an hour ago. He trimmed his beard, and and I, he's probably the only person I know that has more passion about the beard and getting their message out through YouTube and videos than I do. Well, maybe not, but you know, I mean, as much passion. Let me say that because we are out there getting this message out. And I saw him, and I was like, wow, that's pretty interesting that he got rid of his, and he's letting his grow back. So, uh, well. And, and he started, you know, to say in his video how he's starting to trim it this time because last time he just let it go and he's noticed it's growing in thicker and fuller and all this. And it just made me think. And, you know, I've decided just from, from a standpoint of giving the beard justice, I want to keep it maintained. Uh, the, the, the pinnacle of this whole thing came when uh, my wife and I were watching uh, Dumb and Dumber 2 with uh, Jim Carrey. And this was after I had already trimmed my beard. And there was a scene in the beginning of the movie uh, where Jim Carrey supposedly for many, many years was in a nursing home and paralyzed. And, and they showed him in a scene and he had this big, big beard. And the idea was it was unkept. It was, it was dirty. And it just, you know, because that was the whole idea of the setup of the movie scene. But his beard and his set, that picture and everything looked very similar to uh, to to how I was, and I'll admit it, you know. And uh, so I can't blame some people for saying that it didn't look as good as it might look now, because trust me, as soon as I trimmed it, everyone told me how much better it looks. And it wasn't the beard, folks. The beard is not the bad thing. I want to encourage everyone out there that has a long beard. You don't have to trim it. The beard is not the issue, in my opinion. I think the issue is, from my experience, and I could be wrong, but my, my, my issue seems to be uh, it's what we're doing with the beard. And I think uh, as now as it's growing back more, more I, I'm going to just handle it different. And, you know, my final step in uh, getting it off, somebody said to me, you know, how long did it take? Uh, you can always grow it back, they said. And I thought, well, this thing took... Like six years, I'm not going to grow it back. It actually, I was growing it for about five years. But then I thought about it. I said, well, really, it just took one year. Because one year was the bulk of the beard came in. And the last four years, it's, it just grew, you know, a couple of inches from there. But the main part was the first first year. So I said, okay, I could always grow it back, if anything. Uh, so uh, there's no way, no way in the world I would ever, ever, ever shave. And that's, that's a curse word. But I, I did trim it. And I decided, so this time I'm going to let it grow back. But I, I did make videos in the past about not trimming the mustache, feeling that the mustache, a, a big beard without a mustache was, it, it was, something was off. Something wasn't right. I'm going to experiment this time and try to keep the mustache trimmed and see if that'll make a difference in the reaction from others and also in how I feel I look because as the mustache got bigger yes it was pretty cool to put wax in it and move it out of the way but to be honest when that wax wasn't in or wore off I mean I looked like one tooth saber tiger uh 
uh, Duck Dynasty Madman. And uh, so uh, I try to keep it trimmed. If I keep the mustache trimmed, I believe it'll make the beard look tri uh, trimmer and uh, or or neater and also my beard tends to grow out out and out and out so i might just keep it uh just trimmed and and, and just trimmed and just experiment with that and you know and you know it can always grow back right so uh, i i'm not gonna make weird shapes and sizes and all this but i am gonna you know pamper myself a little and and you know and, and try to look again i don't want to say professional but uh, not like uh, unkept. Um, the other thing with my hair, I don't think I'm going to let my hair grow. I think I'm going to keep my hair because my friend Michael Owen, he he had some interesting videos about letting his hair grow and then getting a haircut and still having a big beard. And I think uh, some way, somehow, and I don't say this for everyone, but I think when he had his hair cut, it made his beard look more uh, acceptable. And I'm not doing this for acceptance in society. I'm not doing this for anyone. I'm doing this for me. Uh, and I'm doing it for the beard, I guess, and I'm doing it for the, the, the whole bad reputation of the beard. I want people to know that this could be a thing. Now, people will say, why didn't you just, you know, trim your beard and trim your mustache and leave it at that? Why do you have to trim it so much? Why don't you just trim it neat and, you know, and keep it long? And that's a great question. But like I said, <laughs> I got those scissors in my hand and I started trimming and I just didn't stop. And for, for a while, people were asking me, well, you know, why do you trim your beard? And I just, my answer would be like, I don't know. I just don't know would be my answer. And, you know, I spoke a little about it in another video and, and, you know, and it did have a little to do with it. You know, some people say, well, was it, was it your, your spouse, your wife? Did she, you know, what'd she think about that? You know, again, she let me do what I wanted to do. Of course, it wasn't unkept as nice as it is, was, uh, could have been. So, you know, but her issue really wasn't the beard. Her issue was the beard hairs that were all over the place. Uh, you know, just, man, if you're going to grow a beard and you're married, just clean up after yourself so there's not beard hair everywhere. Uh, so my wife didn't really have an issue with the beard as much as the beard hair everywhere. But I'm going to see, I'm going to experiment, and I'm going to keep you updated. You can be on this journey with me. I'll let it grow, and, and you know, and I know some of you guys out there with the long beards. I already got it from some bearded brothers. They're like, oh, man, what'd you do? And I'd be the same way because I remember just a couple of weeks before I trimmed mine, I saw a man in the store and he had a decent looking beard. Uh, so I went up to him and talked to him about it. And he said his beard was once much, much, much longer. And I'm like, man, you're crazy. I'm never going to trim my beard. Never. And here I was a couple of weeks. So never say never. Uh, but, you know, I, I understand. I understand if you want to uh, bust my chops about it. Uh, but. You know, well, I, you know, so I, I'm liking where it is right now, actually. I, I really enjoy it right now. Uh, and, you know, I might decide to keep it like this. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and, and learn about trimming because I never really trimmed and, and just see how that goes and, and just think about it and pray about it and, and see, see what I decide to do. I, I still think a beard is, is a natural part of a man and every man should stop destroying their beard. And, but, you know, I've come to a different opinion on just let it grow and let it flow. Now I'm more of the opinion, uh, let it grow, let it flow, but, uh, you know, represent the beard in, in a way where you're just not looking and acting like you're doing it for lazy reasons. And if you are, then don't touch it if that's your reasoning. My reason wasn't because I was lazy. That wasn't my reason. My reason was because I love the beard. And I don't, I don't want to give that appearance of being a, a lazy just because that wasn't my goal. All right, so there you have it. Uh, and I'm going to try to get the videos going again. And thank you for those that have been requesting the videos. And put your comments and questions below. I know I'm going to get some, uh, some uh, negative comments to that one uh, because uh, this, you know, is a band of brothers here with the beards and they don't want to see somebody go down like this. And I would have been in your shoes and said the same thing. So I'll take it. I'll take it. Just keep, uh, keep the language clean. All right. And, and you'll see, it'll come back nice and uh, represent the beard big time. All right. So everybody, uh, beard on.